Infectious diseases continue to be one of the major health challenges facing humanity. These plagues are the main cause of mortality in developing countries. Pedro Alonso from Spain and the Australian Peter Myler fight against them. And for their important advances in this fight, they have just received the BBVA Foundation Frontiers of Knowledge Award in the Development Cooperation category. The fight against them can only be achieved with a multidisciplinary approach that goes from the genome to the field or bed of the patient. It's precisely in the study of genetics that the researcher Peter Myler works. Director of the Seattle Structural Genomic Center for Infectious Disease, in 2005 he managed to sequence the genome of the parasites that cause two of these diseases, leishmaniasis and chagas. We provide sort of a parts list and, and work out how the parasites uh, function and how they interact with the, with the human host. We provide sort of hypotheses, they go out and find out whether we're right or whether we're wrong. Thus, thanks to basic research that reveals the weaknesses of these parasites, new treatments can be found to combat these diseases. Pedro Alonso, the current director of WHO's World Malaria Program in Geneva, led the trial of the first vaccine for this disease, which is being implemented in a pilot project next year in three African countries. Additionally, in the late 1980s, he led the first study to show the use of insecticide-treated mosquito nets was an effective way to reduce malaria contagions. Insecticide-impregnated mosquito nets are the principal prevention tool against malaria in the world today. It's been estimated that over the past 15 years, this method has reduced malaria mortality by up to 60%, which has prevented the deaths of some 6 million people, most of them children under 5 years of age. The winners demand more support from governments because without economic resources there is no progress. New tools and a continuing effort are needed to eradicate infectious diseases that mainly affect the most disadvantaged populations on the planet.